Hey, what's up? Today, I want to talk about examples of failures in life, why people fail, some real reasons why it happens. So that way, uh, maybe you could avoid that, not do it. Um, now, before I get begin, uh, down below, there's this link in the description, okay? And if you click on it, uh, there really is training on, I believe, one of the most important parts of selling a product or service or idea online, okay? And I know that because I failed at it. <laughs> so, uh, I just want to mention it at the top. Now, I was listening to this story about this podcaster, very interesting, uh, a couple days ago. And he's been doing it for years, and he hasn't made very much money. And, you know, it's just basically his strategy was off, his game plan. And according to Tony Robbins, which uh, I listen to now and then, what he says is that one of the biggest factors that people fail was hunger. You know, you're just not hungry for it. You know, this is why if you're born into rich wealth, you're not hungry. You get lazy, compliant. Uh, what do you think? Is anything that's true? Yeah. There's some people that are like immigrants that come into America and they get kicked in the face and they're just hungry. They want to win. They got this chip on their shoulder, you know, or whatever. Uh, you know, another thing is Warren Buffett says that what makes businesses fail is complacency. They get lazy. They're so, sucking on their thumbs or whatever. Um, and he was never a big believer in giving his wealth away, even to his kids. I think he gave them five hundred thousand uh, dollars. That was enough to do what they want to do, but not enough where they just don't do nothing. You know, that was kind of an interesting idea. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people, if they just give handed a bunch of wealth early on, kind of screws up their life and stuff. They don't know what the hell to do with it. They go, they go into drug rehab and shit, you know, or whatever. Uh, yeah, so anyways. Now, according to Tony Robbins, he, he has this really good idea, which I want to share with you, on why people fail. Some failure examples and everything. And he says it comes down to really three things to make things simple. Because I like simple, simple stuff. Life is too damn complicated. There's all this crazy shit going on, right? Uh, basically, it comes out of three things. It's a state, story, and strategy, okay? Um, let's start with the story. The reason you're not successful is you're not where you want to be is life is because the story you tell yourself, okay? Uh, for example, maybe you blame your parents, you know? Uh, you have learned helplessness. You can learn to be helpless, you know? And you can tell yourself this crazy-ass story and then justify why in the fuck shit's not going on in your life. Uh, for example, they've taken baby elephants in a circus and tied them to this little tiny peg. And they can't move the damn pegs. So they just stay there. And the, the, the elephant gets big, boop, 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 a huge. They can move the, little, the tiny peg, but they don't. You know why? They've chosen, they tra taught themselves to be helpless and they can't move the peg. It's true. And us humans, we could do the same thing. It happens to us. I'm telling you, it does. Okay? It happens all the time. We create our own jail cells. Um, so the story we tell ourselves, it protects us in a lot of ways. Our ego, our pride. That's why we blame other people. We blame other things. But it can prison you and keep you from changing your life. Um, so you need a story that really empowers you. And that's why I'm a big believer in blaming myself for everything. Because I could I could change. I could adapt. But if I blame other people, like, oh, it's his fault, not mine, or whatever. It keeps me from empowering myself. I give that person power. Okay? What do you think? Now, another reason someone fails, an example of failure, is they don't have the resources. They don't think they do. Like, money and time. What do you think? Well... Look, it can't happen, but, you know, the, re the reality is it's resourcefulness, which is the ability to get resources, okay? Now, uh, maybe you want to do something and you're lying in bed, you can't move, and you you got, like, you know, about to die, you don't have the resources of time or something. I'm thinking, uh, that's the only thing that just kind of crossed my mind. But when it even comes, like, to money or, you know, energy and stuff like that, it's you, you can get that, so it's resourcefulness. There's always ways you can get money, funding, and stuff like that. Um, and that's what makes people successful. It's their ability to get it. You know, and there's was a, a book that's pretty interesting. Is you know I'm dead when I stop talking, something like that, where the guy asked the agent of Elvis like a, like for a year to to to, to go out and with him on tour. <laughs> he said no for like a year. He finally said yes. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, uh, all right. Anyways. 
Um, another one is maybe not capital. Maybe another reason people fail is uh, they don't have enough brand equity, and it's like you know maybe uh, they do some bad things to a bunch of other people. They're in jail or whatever. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, maybe it's uh, emotion. You know, that's the ultimate resource. You know why people fall in love because of emotion, right? Uh, and why do people work all night? You know their emotions and stuff. And if you're creative, you can find the answer to any problem, right? You agree with that? I do. Uh, you can really find the answer to nearly any question, too, if you are creative enough. So if you have the wrong strategy, this is the important one, you will fail every time. And a classic example is that podcaster. Um, another example of my own life is, you know, I was I had this health niche, and I was really into these products. They were like, I've been using them for, for years and years, the greatest things in sliced bread, and I decided to create this video vlog or whatever. And the vlog was just successful. I had a couple million views and I was getting people, I was trying to help people get on this email list or what, or whatever, but I just, I really struggled at the whole converting part. I sucked really bad at it. And that was, I had the wrong strategy. You know, that's why I had to learn that skill of being able to convert someone's attention to actually, you know, sales. Or whatever, and uh, it, that's why I mentioned at the very beginning. If you click the link below, there's training on the most important part of internet marketing and marketing a product, service, affiliate marketing, like that, which is converting. Um, because in the end of the day, that's all that really matters, right? It doesn't matter if, if I have lots of views on YouTube or subscribers or you know lots of traffic to my blog posts or whatever. If you can't really monetize it. It's just a hobby. It's just something that you do for fun. I'm just sitting here talking to, you know, to, you know, I'm just sitting here talking. It doesn't matter. So that's really important. Um, going off on a tangent here. Anyways, but yeah, thanks to Google, there's strategies everywhere. There's always ways you can learn stuff. Uh, the problem with that is if you have the wrong story and you're negative, if you're negative, it's very hard to win because if you're against yourself, I mean, the marketplace is hard enough as it is. The world's tough enough as it is. I mean, nobody gives a shit about. It. Nobody gives a shit. So you have to be your own one or more fan, and that's where state comes into play. That state's very important. It's how you feel at the moment. Um, and I'll give you another example of this. It's I was listening to Jordan Belford, who he made that movie Wolf of Wall Street about. And he's big in the state. He has this thing called a boom boom stick where he brings back all this happiness and certainty and he inhales it. I think it's like a mint flavor. Uh, he probably puts Coke in his or something. Coke, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> the guy's lifestyle is like, woo. But um, it's all about improving your state so that you can transfer that state to somebody else to help them in closing a sale, which is, I thought was pretty interesting. But here's an example of why people fail. Another one is relationships, right? That's a tough one. That's like the hardest thing. We all go through problems in our relationships. Um, Says, he says that, well, Tony Robbins said this, but if you do the thing at the beginning of the relationship, towards the end of the relationship, there won't be an end of the relationship. The problem is that people change their story about the other person. They go, oh, that person's actually lazy. I don't like it anymore. You know, they, they, you know and then that changes their strategy, which in case ends in the problems. Uh, it's also a different state, too. Yeah, because well, first you start with a state, like you get negative, and then you start thinking, you tell yourself there are stories about the other person, like, oh, you know, you start maybe start thinking weird shit about the other person, uh, lazy or whatever, and then you have different strategies, and then it's failure. So the state can change everything the fastest. Yeah, you think that's true? I think it is, absolutely true. And the story extends that state, you know. That's why it's so important at the start of the day, um, there's another book, was it called A Miracle Morning or something like that? Or it's basically uh, gratitude. If, if you're really grateful for what you have, you have wealth. If you're grateful. If you don't, if you don't grateful for anything, you're, you're always going to be poor, I guess. I guess that, um, but, yeah. So that's why you want to start, you know, get yourself in the right state. Because without that, you got nothing, man. You got to put yourself in the right frame of mind. NLP is really good for that, too. There's a lot of really good material out there. Um, I mean, no, I don't think anybody's perfect at it. Everybody gets to do negativity sometimes or gets depressed a little bit. But if you're depressed too long, 
that's, that it doesn't matter about the strategy, does it? You know, because that affects everything. Um, another thing is decisions, not conditions, determines somebody's destiny. Um, so what you focus on really determines your success in a lot of ways. That's that's why I talk about your state so important. You know, if you're focused on negativity, then you're just going to see that. It's going to get you down. If, if you could focus really on how to win, you know, I, you know, it, you're much more likely to win. Okay. Um, an example of this is like, oh man, look, the, the economy is heading down. You know, this means there's no money out there. Everything's gonna suck. Blah blah blah. That's negativity. Or you could do the same question. Look, the economy is going down. Wow, this is really cool because there's gonna be so many bargains out there. It's just gonna be downpriced. That's what Warren Buffett thinks. He's the value investor. He's just, you know, <laughs> he just wants to pick up damn companies for a cheap price. You know, he's not even in like he's not even in the technology. He missed Amazon, and you think he's in the Bitcoin hail? No. <laughs> so I thought that was just kind of interesting. Just my thoughts. Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. This video bunch of bullshit is going on too long. But I hope you like this video. Um, if you did, uh, please hit the like button. You can share it too if you want uh, to your friends or whatever your social media platforms. You know, whatever. Uh, Another thing too, like I mentioned earlier, if you are interested in selling a product or idea online, I can't stress this enough. The best way to learn is to learn from other people's mistakes. You know, don't make them yourself. That was my mistake. I didn't know how to convert. You know, and I was I've been in internet marketing for a little while. And I've been screwing up here, there, 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 there. And I'm like, oh wait a minute. The most important part is how to convert that attention traffic into a sale. So you got to start there, and then you work way backwards. You can reverse engineer it, and then you can find a product or an idea that attached to it. And then you can learn about traffic and how to bring people, um, you know, there. But start with converting, okay? I can't stress that enough, okay? I, I'm a big believer in that because I know, okay? So anyways, <clears throat> um, check it out if you want. Uh, click, it, click the link below. Um, you don't want to you know, fail like me over and over again. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I hope you uh, liked the video. I wish you the best and uh, bye for now.